For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stunt for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the all right, what is going on, guys? We are back here from Dig or Die, and uh, it's getting cold out. I just turned the heater off because it's like it's 35 degrees outside, no insulation, all that good stuff. So, but what we're gonna do now? Really haven't posted a real good video, uh, and we're gonna try to fire the Zephyr up and let it get warm, let it get some heat into it, and then I'm gonna let it cool down throughout the night. And tomorrow we're going to retorque the head and then put some stuff back on it. Had a small hiccup. It was my fault about the coils. Got that situated. Now we're good. And uh, now I'm going to try and put the coils back into the cow, the cow panel and see if they will work. We'll see. I may end up just doing valve cover mounted coils. We'll see. I don't usually like those, but... It is what it is. Sometimes you just got to live with things to make them work. We'll see. I don't know. I, I got to figure that out. So we've got a couple of little things to do, um, but tonight we're just going to fire it up, let it get warm and check on it. And then we are going to uh, be throwing, taking the valve cover off, retorking the head, all that good stuff later this week. So, all right, let's see if she will fire up. I'm going to set you right here. Should work something like that. Let's see what she's got here.
right, so it's a little smoky in here now. Um, I'm suffocating from fumes, but we did go through a heat cycle here. We've, uh, well, say we got hot. It got a little hotter than I wanted it to. Sort of bounced around, dropped down, and then dropped up. And so we're gonna let this thing cool, cool off, and then we're going to uh, torque the heads back down, both of them. I'm gonna do both sets. Torque them down and then uh, see where we're at with it. Um, probably gonna end up redoing this driver's side oil drain and putting a new tap in the pan um, back here. Cause I have them wide together. It's probably not the smartest, but it does go from two tens up to a 12 and then back. So, um, you know, only, only burnt myself a couple of times, so not too bad. But plan is to get this thing going here and Hopefully make us a couple of pulls. I got to get the fan. I forgot about the fan. One of the reasons it probably got hot. Um, it got like two, it got up to 230. Um, but, and I don't like that, but it's actually not going to be terrible for retorquing the head since um, it came back down real quick. It's already back down to 180 and that was only with like two minutes of cool down time. So uh, probably an air pocket in it if I had to imagine, if I had to guess. Um, because this is the first hot side or hot getting it first time of getting it hot so it, it did pretty good there's no leaks that i can find uh, i had a lot of condensation out of this uh, side over here um, there's a good chance it may be because i need to torque that head down i say condensation there was some form of water and then it, it stopped um, we had a little bit of of some type of oil out of this which i think may be because of the drain but it also stopped as well. But as you can tell, there's a lot of white smoke in here. Um, so don't know, I mean, it's sort of hard to, it's hard to tell on the first startup with a completely new deal of what's going on. So uh, we got some breathers to buy. We've got, cause I, I wanna put a single breather for each side. Um, seems like we do have a lot of crankcase pressure. Um, so I'm gonna talk with Kevin and them about that whenever we take it down, see what they think and uh need to tighten up the belt you know there's a whole list there's a giant list of things the more you do to one but it is idling super good so props to kevin for an awesome idle tune on this thing um it's doing pretty good uh i know i need to be talking to you here probably more but i just keep looking for things seeing if anything's gonna have issues um other than that i mean i, I do I, i'm not sure about this front radiator set up if i need to move it higher maybe that will cause this thing to to do better I, if i need to do that i need to go ahead and do it um so it's just going to be more of fine tuning this setup i am no expert by any stretch of the imagination so who even knows so oh boy there's so much to do and the more that you start working on one, the more there is. Good thing is we got a lot, we got quite a bit of time. Um, I'm gonna be putting some sensors in the front here in the next couple, couple upcoming weeks. We're gonna wire that injector in and um, then we should be good to go. But I just wanted to show you guys the, the first real true startup and the first brought up to temp deal, so. It did good, it sounds good. Um, I don't hear anything really skipping. Um, you know, no misses, misfires or anything like that. So at least it me, leads me to believe that we're good. And um, yeah, so yeah, fun stuff. Hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get this thing going and get it out and get it tested. But the problem is gonna be finding good weather to get it tested, so. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I do appreciate you watching, seeing the Zephyr uh, get fired up here, and hopefully we can bring you some uh, content of it here soon. We will see. It all depends on how everything goes together. So pretty pumped, pretty excited to get it going, and hopefully we won't uh, run into too many more issues. All right, guys, that's going to be it. We'll see you. Peace. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, 
Ain't tryna link no China waste. For the record, for the record, yeah. For the